Hello, Mr. Nylen here. Welcome to <coughs> Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, the expansion for Diablo 2, released in 2001. Okay, so I'm playing a Let's Play since 2018 as Andariel. It's a mod. It looks like an Amazon here, but <coughs> the thing is I'm using a mod, so in, in inside of the game she will look like Andariel. She's using a charm to get the looks of Andariel, and then there is another mod called the Andariel skill tree mod which adds um, Andariel's attacks and such. Okay, so I combined bo both mods into uh, into one mod and uh, started to play with this character back in the summer of 2018. It was my first, I believe, playthrough uh, where I voiced, uh, where I spoke, except maybe some videos where I previewed mods and I believe I had a, I believe, uh, preliminary campaign of Warcraft of the War where I played uh, the Kingdom of Quel'Thala, so the High Elves. I uh, played for a few episodes where I spoke, but uh, besides that campaign, which was cancelled because it was uh, I was playing a beta version with the campaign. So I played, I believe, that campaign between March and April of 2018, and uh, I believe that the mod was released, the first version of the mod was released in uh, on, on April 23, 2018, so, so so the version I played were outdated compared to the version that was uh, released, and as such I never finished the campaign. But uh, that was my first real playthrough with my voice, uh, so to speak. Uh, I played walkthroughs in the past where I didn't speak. Okay. But the Andariel, uh, let's play in this game, <coughs> Diablo 2, uh, for the PC, uh, was, uh, started in the summer of 2018, I played all of Act 1, and finished Andariel and such, but I didn't really play more than that. Then in 2021 I played the first quest, Radomant Slayer, of Act 2, and in uh, 2022 I have played the a part of the second quest, I believe, to get the rather cube, but I still need to get the shaft and uh, whatever else you need to get in order to uh, do what's required in, in the in the game. So, so I think we will do another episode right now. Uh, by the way, you can watch the cinematics here, of course, Sisters Lament and Desert Journey. I've only have, uh, unlocked the first two, but I tried uh, recording this game with Bandicam and it didn't work well, not even the videos. It will game lock during the recording and uh, most of the screen will be black after just a few seconds. So the only way I can record this game, unfortunately, is by using the, the tool that the program that followed with the graphics uh, card, the NVIDIA Shadowplay recorder. The problem with it is that it records like videos at 20 minutes each. So uh, as my videos are longer than 20 minutes, I will need to use a program like Movie Maker or Filmora, for example, to, to combine all the episodes into one single video. So if I play, let's say I play for one hour, then, then I will have to combine the videos and process them in Filmora. And it will take two hours. It, it takes twice the time takes to play. <coughs> so if I play for one hour I will have to combine it um, for two hours and then I need to upload. With Bandicam I could have just recorded the game and, and uploaded immediately but it didn't work with this game for some reason. So I instead when I uh, recorded the, the videos I tried re recording these videos from inside the game and it didn't work with Bandicam. So then I tried from the DVD uh, while watching the, the the same cinematics in in a video program like uh, VLC Media Player, and uh, it worked fine. So, so it's something wrong with Diablo 2. Probably it's too old. So Bandicam can't handle it. I had the same issue with Rome to the War, actually. Uh, the very same issue, and it's a game from 2004, and this game is from 2001. And both have the same issue, but. Uh, with that game, fortunately, I could uh, I could get around it by enabling the mod uh, for the Steam version of uh, Room Total War, where it worked fine to use Bandicam without issues. The problem with Diablo 2 is that I'm stuck with the old game, 
if I were to buy the remaster uh, it would use horrible updated graphics I mean uh, not everything is bad I think the monsters look great and some of the heroes the male heroes etc but the, the female heroes and the female villains look bad in my opinion they, they did everything to make them look old and masculine and uh, for example and Ariel in that mo in, in the remaster of the game looks horrible she's uh, fat and looks like a masculine beast um, she doesn't look like the feminine demon that I thought was kinda attractive as a kid uh, anyway the reason I'm playing and Ariel is because she's a sexy monster of course so so using the remaster she looks horrible she looks more like a man than <laughs> a female almost anyway uh, in this game of course in the remaster we can use the old school graphics the 2d graphics then they would look the same as in this game but I don't believe that mods for the original game would work there unfortunately so I wouldn't be able to use the Andariel mod where I place Andariel of course uh, there are other mods uh, there that enables the player to play as, for example, the, the, the 3D model of Andariel. I don't know how that would work if if if, if one decides to play as uh, with the 2D graphics. If if you can still use uh, mods like that, I don't know. But I know that there are mods for Diablo 2 uh, on the PC, the remaster, uh, which enables you to play with the new 3D models of demons I don't know if, if, if I were to play it using the old graphics if, if they would look like the old characters if that's the case um, the only thing missing would be the, the unique skill tree of the boss I mean you would have her looks but you wouldn't have her, her attacks she would probably have the attacks of the hero you are playing but her looks so it would be like the the um, the, the boss uh, mod, the, the, the mod that changes the looks of the characters but without the mod that adds the scales okay so then uh, I record this game now I'm using the Nvidia Shadow Play recorder this means that I will have to process the video and I can't process the video at the same time while I'm <coughs> while I'm uh, playing because that would cause probably lag in a game maybe not in Diablo it's so old but but if I if I were to for example process a video on the same computer while playing for example uh, Medieval to the Lord Kingdoms or any of its mods then it would lag because uh, the processing of the video takes up a lot of uh, uh, power from the computer so it will be more difficult for the computer to run a game uh, well, uh, but I have another computer that I could uh, use at the same time, like I did last year, and process the video on that computer while playing on this one. That way, I won't lose any time. But uh, the problem with that is that the prices on electricity have gone up so much. I, I, I don't want to have two computers on at the same time. Uh, I will probably get a much higher energy, uh, like. Uh, fee, energy fee at the end of the month if I use both computers. But anyway, I will do it for this game. So I'm using NVIDIA Shadow Play Recorder to record and will process on the other computer. Okay. Let's continue with and Daryl. She says level 19. Uh, the character is named Andariel, like the boss. But she, uh, the skill tree was also uh, the, the name of the skill, I, I mean, uh, or class, I mean. Instead of a sorceress or Amazon, she's named an Ariel as, as the class too. Okay, so in this uh, let's play, by the way, I'm killing every monster in every area. Let's load the game. So yeah, I'm playing as the Andariel demon. She is the maiden of anguish and the first main boss in Diablo 2. She's the main boss of Act 1. <coughs> and located in the catacombs beneath the monastery the abandoned rogue monastery now we're in the desert city of Lutko Lane on Act 2 and I've 
finished Radamant Slayer back in January or February 2021. Here we killed the mummy Radamant down in the sewers beneath Lutko Lane down here. Trap door. We've done that quest. And we have the Radric staff. Search the halls of the dead under the dry hills for the cube. That's what we did in the last episode a few months back, half a year ago. And that now we need to search the maggot lair under the far oasis for the shaft. Search the claw viper temple for the headpiece. So we need to do both of those. And we can start with the shaft. I already had the cube because I needed it to enable the mod. Uh, because you needed the cube to create the charms that would turn the Amazon into an aerial when it came to the looks. You place the charm inside here, an aerial small charm, so you can like create charms of, uh, that will turn you into different characters. You can have the same, you can for example play as the sorceress and have the skills of the Amazon by having a charm that will just change the look to that of the sorceress. Uh, while still having the attacks of them, so you can in essence play anyone and look like any of the characters, like any of the main mob bosses, like Andariel, Duriel, Fisto, Lord of Hatred, Diablo, Lord of Terror, and Bale, Lord of Destruction. Then you can play as the evil barbarians, uh, uh, the three evil barbarians, and you can play as Israel, the fallen angel. One skill tree existed, and it was unfinished and it, uh, a bit buggy for an aerial. Okay, so I believe that the mod that changes the models or the sprites uh, is from I believe 24 or 26, I believe 2004. <coughs> well, the skill tree is an older mod, I believe 2001 probably, but re uploaded by Russian uh, modders in. 2019. Okay. Uh, so uh, I need to do the quest to get the shaft and the headpiece. And uh, I already had the cube, but I still went and killed everyone I needed to kill in order to get to the chest where I would get the cube if I didn't already have it. Uh, but as I already had it, we didn't get the cube there. Okay, we needed a cube to create uh, items. You place items in the cube and, and then you can create stuff. So we needed it to create the charm and then to turn the character into an aerial. Okay. And yeah, this an aerial is much better than the one from the remaster. They have uh, made her body very very broad and masculine, she doesn't look at all feminine like on this sprite here. By the way, these sprites, all the sprites in Diablo 2 are 2D sprites, but they are based off of real models. But, uh, back then the game wasn't strong enough to handle 3D models. There were actual 3D models used to create these sprites, and I believe the creators of Diablo 2 or or someone that had access to the original models did send Blizzard the original models when they were working on the remaster so they could have used, used the same models yeah, instead of the sprites they would have used a model that looked exactly like this for Endarial but unfortunately they decided to <coughs> remake all the models in the game and only the male characters and the monsters that weren't females uh, were faithfully recreated and to look exactly like in the old game while unfortunately the females, the female heroes and uh, female demons like Andariel they were uh, remade to look more masculine, older in the face, big uh, in the case of Andariel she has a very broad body, uh, very masculine, doesn't look sexy at all and uh, yeah it ruined her and, and uh, with the Amazon and the sorcerers they look older in the face and they also have wider bodies they don't look as good either and, and then the rogue is censored so, so she doesn't show her ass as much in, in 
another verse they ruined all the female characters but kept them the other monsters and the male characters the same so yeah it was a bad decision in my opinion to remake the game in this time and age uh, when they can't even uh, faithfully recreate the female characters and that there was a guy that had sent them the original models they could have simply reuse the, the same models but use the models this time decided not to for some reason and of course the new models are way worse in my opinion uh, so uh, uh, if you play the 2D uh, I believe in the remaster you can decide either to play 3D or 2D if you play the 2D variant of the game they will look exactly like in this game uh, but if you play the 3D version they will have censored females um, which is very weird because if the 2D models are okay to be like this, why, why can't the 3D models be the same? Okay, I wanted a new version of the game with 3D models, you know. I wanted that for years, ever since I played this as a kid. I wished it was in 3D, but I didn't want them to ruin the looks of Andariel and the Amazon and the sorceress and the rogues. I didn't want them to remove any eye candy. Okay, so I didn't buy the game because I didn't like the censorship. They also removed the TCP IP LAN feature too. Okay, and uh, <coughs> I bought the collector's edition of Diablo 2, so I am a great fan of the Diablo 2 franchise and game. I, I have the collector's edition with the strategy guide and the DVD and everything, the giant box played it a lot growing up, but I don't support the modern censorship. Okay, let's go to the Halls of the Dead, level 2. Uh, no, we shouldn't. The Dry Hills, the Halls of the Dead. Maybe we should go to the Dry Hills and uh, then find our way to the Far Oasis. Let me see again. <coughs> Search the Maggot Lair under the Fairway for Oasis. Yeah, we'll do that. I've done that part, part a million times. Both alone and with friends and with my sister. Killing all those giant maggots. Alright, we have the map visible, but the enemies have respawned as the game has been restarted. We'll have to kill monsters again, but we will not care to kill everyone in areas where we have already been. We will kill all the monsters in new areas. For Oasis, this is the area. Good. We will kill everyone. <laughs> so few enemies here. Okay, options, sound. Too loud. Okay. Right, we'll kill everyone in this area. Yes. Oh, I can't forget my health either. Need to go to the inventory. Sell some stuff. Let's go back to Lutko Lane. Needed to sell some equipment. Good day. Speak to Farah. We are healed and we speak to her too. Let's see here. We have an assassin only sword. Sell it. I have no plans to place the assassin. I never liked the assassin. Thought she looked horrible. Short haired female. Didn't like her attacks either. But at least she looked better than the modern uh, uh, assassin that is uh, more fat. And also Asian, unlike the old one. But uh, I didn't like the old one either. It's the one character I didn't like in this game. Didn't like her looks, and I didn't 
like her attacks. However, uh, she still had a good looking body. Just didn't like that she had short hair. Okay, so I played as the Amazon or the Sorceress when it came to the females, and uh, I played as the Druid or the Necromancer when it came to the males. Never played a paladin. I didn't like his attacks. Thought he looked cool, but he had very boring attacks. And then the barbarian, I did play a bit as to. He was fun. Just like the druid, my favorite character, with the animals and such. But later, I believe I. As a cheated character, I preferred the necromancer with an army of undead and such. Yeah. But uh, with a non cheated character, I would prefer the druid with the wolves and. Werewolf and beer uh, and beer form. Yeah, beer beer form. Yeah. I believe I played as the druid when I didn't use a shield in the first game. Played through normal. Never played the uh, nightmare or hard. Played normal with many characters. But after playing with the uh, leave the druid without sheets, I believe that I used uh, an editor to play with other characters like the necromancer. Yeah, you have a lot of really powerful uh, cheated characters and uh, fight against myself uh, because they had like. Uh, I had two computers uh, beside each other, a Windows 95 and a Windows XP, and then I used to play LAN between them, I used to duel the characters. Of course I had to control both, which was a little bit troublesome, but it worked. Sometimes I played against my sister too, of course. Uh, but anyway, uh, the game was fun without cheats, but it took forever to, to level up. Back then I didn't have the patience to kill every single monster in an area which is required if you want to get them leveled up fast. That's why the barrier character here is so high level for this area. Level 19 is because she has killed every single enemy. She has faced up until now. We have uh, gone through entire areas and dungeons and killed everyone. When I played the Druid, I believe I just skipped through most areas and went straight for the bosses and then the game became much more difficult and I didn't try the level in the later parts either, that way it was more difficult. Pose a challenge on Act 2. On Act 3, on the other hand, we have all those annoying uh, small kid enemies. They're real annoying. I don't remember their names, but uh, small annoying creatures. <laughs> like to 
have some skeletons spawned. Great skeletal mage. Okay. There is a skeleton. Ah, that's not a skeleton. We raised a row. Unfortunately, they are bugged. They won't move. They are almost worthless. They can attack a unit if they, it's nearby, but as you see, they won't move. Either it's a bug, or it was intended to just stand like this. But I don't think so. It's very boring. I wish they would have fixed this bug so he would follow character like normal spawned enemies would uh, do. I mean, when you spawn a wolf, pet, or, or a skeleton, they usually follow you. But when it came to that rogue, unfortunately, they, they is standing there doing nothing. game we need to pick up the gold by clicking on alt to make it visible and then click on it. You can't just walk on it. But I s I've seen mods for the original game like the Median Excel mod where they have enabled features like for example you can just walk on them to pick them up and such. If you walk on the money you pick it up. It's uh, much better. Um, and other features too. This game is not um, modified in any way except uh, for the main character. Playing quite much the vanilla game with a different character. So we have no modded features, unfortunately. We need to find Magus Lair. Uh, this area was also part of the oasis. I feel much stronger now. Ah, uh, so she leveled up. She's level 17. It's pretty good for a rogue didn't want to replace the rogue. She fits with Endario. Prefer prefer the rogue over the, the like desert guards we can get in Act 2. However I used to I, I used to keep the rogue here in Act 2. Uh, and then I used to replace the rogue with the cool like uh marker you can get in Act 3, the sorcerer. fits better with an area. Of course I would have wanted a a um, fallen rogue instead like Blood Raven or one of those corrupted rogues but fortunately they are not available as mercenaries and uh, unlike the new game it's not as easy to mod things like that. Uh, so in that sense the new version of the game would be fun so you can have uh, corrupted rogues and such. You can play as more beasts too. It's just a frame that they didn't use the, the model this sprite is based on over that horrible masculine version of Andariel. I mean, you don't want uh, a masculine Andariel. She's supposed to be the maiden of anguish. And, uh, of course, uh, if, if they are not attractive, what's the point of uh, uh, wanting to place them if they're not attractive? Um, the reason I wanted to play as the demon was because I found her attractive. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no interest. Uh, of course, you're not supposed to play as. You're supposed to be one of the heroes and kill her. And as a monster, yeah, she could work as a masculine looking enemy, but I still think it ruined it because I always felt Andariel is more like a poison ivy type villain. Sexy and attractive, but evil. Uh, would torture her enemies and uh, um, like uh, yeah, do horrible stuff to them. Uh, just like I don't think we should go there. Just like for example, uh, have poison ivy in, in the Batman franchise would uh, <coughs> would uh, use her uh, like skills to. 
trap mail I've always liked, you know, femme fatale characters female characters that are um, kind of evil but still sexy if they are not sexy I lose all interest <coughs> I wanted to play some Daryl growing up. That's why I did this for the 2018. The reason it took so long to continue it is because I've been busy with other stuff. We have leveled up, we are at level 20. 61 Vitalit, which is uh, what you will place points on to increase your life. Energy will increase the mana or magic points. And dexterity is for characters like the Amazon, which needs to hit enemies with arrows and such, it's uh, accuracy, strength is to carry gear. Okay, so we will, uh, with Dendariel I think energy is important, talent is also important, and uh, strength could be important too. I think we will go for vitality. Okay, so skills. We have skill choices remaining one. You will force first level call damage 20 to 30. For Iron Maiden, curse a group of enemies, causing them to damage themselves when damaging others. You will force. Prefer that one. Okay. You will force. Ah, we got. An attack that looked like something from the necromancer. Whoever, nothing special. Lose it against the enemy. I kind of prefer the other one. This one. It feels more like a various real attack. that we need to click on every item we want to pick up. That's one thing I like about the Median Excel mod and the remaster that you don't have to manually pick up everything. You can just walk on it. like 
monsters. They're very annoying. And then I believe Act 4 was very short. That was the only bad thing with Act 4. It was over uh, very fast, but it had Diablo and such. It was, in my opinion, better than the other one. I found a waypoint here. to make room for items later seems to be two paths down here Areas over here. We'll not go there if the area name changes. Lost city. No, we need to find the, the maggot's lair and do that quest first. I believe the lost city is the area where we find the next dungeon. What the fuck happened? Quest log. Asked Rognan about the strange darkness. Okay. Weird. this happening. I did remember speaking Allow to Trogman, to advise speaking you. with Trogman. I've been researching this lengthy eclipse, and I believe it to be the work of claw vipers. Find their temple beneath the desert sands, and you may find the source of this curse. Okay. Seven tombs. Talrasha's tomb is hidden deep in the desert among six others. Talrasha's symbol marks the true tomb. If you want to know what that symbol is, you should be able to find it within the legendary arcane sanctuary. All right, here we have the summoner. Go I've heard of your friend Cain. He is the last of the Haradrim. You would do well to heed whatever advice he has to give you. Okay. How annoying that you need to play with the darkness now. Go and see if you can speak to someone else. Good evening. Speak. Tainted sound. This unnatural nightfall is no doubt caused by evil sorcery. Drogman might know what we are dealing with. Okay. Legend has it that Tal Rasha lies imprisoned within his tomb, forever struggling to keep the Lord of Destruction bound. His was a selfless act, although perhaps foolhardy. Okay, go sip. Graze is a fine warrior and leader, but in his heart he will always be a mercenary for hire. I cannot be loyal to those who have no loyalty to themselves. Good to see you. I talked at length with Wariv as we crossed the desert from Kanduras. He has many fascinating tales of the dangers of the desert. His experience may be useful to you. Okay. You have quite a treasure there in that Haradric cube. According to Haradric lore, the cube can restore a Haradric staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it and use the cube's transmute power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. Six gems plus one sword transmute into a socketed longsword. You may also transmute two quivers of crossbow bolts 
into one quiver of arrows, while two quivers of arrows yield one quiver of bolts. I must leave it to you to discover other formulae. Right. Drognan may have some advice on this matter. Hmm. I think I'll speak with him myself. Okay. The seven two. Diablo nears his goal. We have little time to lose. Remember, my friend, that Andariel gave herself willingly to Diablo's cause. It would be prudent to assume that the other evils will attempt to aid their master as well. Hello. How do I know I can trust you, hmm? You may be as shifty as that pack rat Elzix who runs the inn. But if you need a potion, though, I suppose I can make you one. For a price, of course. <laughs> I never patronized the brothels, mind you, but uh, uh, since those ladies took up hiding in the palace, uh, uh, there certainly has been less scenery to feast my eyes on. <laughs> Claw vipers. This outer darkness mirrors the inner blackness of their souls. It is they who have eclipsed the sun, I'll wager. <laughs> they are a venomous band. When Tal Rasha chose to embody the spirit of Baer, he knew his doom was to wrestle eternally against the will of the greater evil. Look around you and ask yourself, has the battle been won or lost? Looks like it's been lost. <coughs> I guess we'll go to the Claw Viper Temple first and do the Maggot's Lair later. Because we want this darkness to be Good gone. Day. Speak to this guy too. Jaron has his father's strength and wits. He's young, but he rules this place with wisdom and care. I think he'll grow into a fine sultan, provided we all survive this crisis. The sun has grown disgusted with the terrible deeds it must shine upon each day. Damnation is upon us all. Be very careful, my friend. I think I've seen enough recently not to doubt that these tombs exist. And if they do, they are most certainly guarded by terrible creatures. Yeah. Greetings. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lut Golain, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I am glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. You seem very capable. But no offense is intended when I say that I must choose my confidants carefully. It wouldn't do to have rumors sending everyone into a panic. My astrologers failed to predict this eclipse. You should seek Drognan's advice. It is well known that there are seven great Horadric tombs hidden beneath the sands in the furthest reaches of the desert. One of them surely must be Talrasha's prison. You must explore each of the tombs to find Talrasha's exact location. Of course, Diablo is searching for the tomb as well. No one can guess as to what terrors he has unleashed in his search. Right. For trade in magic and the like, see Drognan or Lysander. Drognan is the wisest man I know, without equal in magic and ancient lore. Poor Lysander is nearly deaf, but he's a reliable potion chemist. For travel back west, see Wariv, whom you already know. Our own Farah is a fine and honest armorer, 
and she can heal wounds as well. Elzix is the innkeeper, and may also have some items to trade. Graze, the mercenary captain I hired to secure the gates of Loot Golane, keeps order in town as well. There are others here too. I'm sure you'll meet most of them. Just look around. I had already spoken to him previously, but it's been a while since I played, so let's just speak to everybody again. We have some new text too. Greetings. I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. Well, I can tell you that it's got nothing to do with the local town guards. They're all in the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to help keep the peace around here. We're not cheap, but we're the best this wasteland has to offer. Okay. Atma seems to be a fine woman, but I'm sure the loss of her family has made her lonely. Perhaps I should go over and console her when I get off duty tonight. <laughs> this midday darkness reeks of foul magic. My men and I are trying to keep the peace, but this kind of thing really scares people. If you're going into the deep desert, why not hire a few of my men to watch your back? Nah, I'll keep the rogue. Rogue. Kyle, weird name, sounds like a man, okay, there are a lot of NPCs that can't be spoken to. Good morning! <sighs> I don't know why you people keep pestering me. Graze seems to have this place locked down nice and tight. Not that I couldn't have done the same. I've proven my valor in combat plenty of times. Jaren's been acting strange lately. I can't imagine why he recalled the town guards into the palace. If there's something wrong in there, I hope he doesn't expect me to handle it. This whole place is one big ale fog. Oh, I'd go with you to those tombs, but, um... I don't like all that living dead stuff. Good day. Evil has laid siege to Luke Gulane, and you may be our last hope. Drognan the wizard will have some idea as to what is happening. I've heard legends of the tomb of Tal Rasha, but I thought they were just old tales meant to scare young children. Okay. Villains looking around, unlike in Act One. Okay, let's go back here. We'll go straight for the Claw Vipers Temple. I'll do that part first. Oh, we need to change that so I don't use my town portals unnecessarily. Kill everyone in this area too before entering the temple should be stronger enemies in this area I am overburdened not have any room for items that's also one thing I like about the median excel mode that they've increased the size of your rather cube and of the chest in the town and of your personal equipment I believe too at least the cube and the chest have increased size. They're poison. One reason I don't play this game too often is because I need to process the video. I prefer playing games where I don't need to process videos. No long, you, no, you no longer fear cold, okay? You are immune to cold, apparently. Oh. Trapdoor. 
to the ancient tunnels. There's an area there we can enter. I don't believe that's the area where we need to go, but we'll still go there at some point. Kill every monster there. It will give us experience. <laughs> The reason I don't play this game too much and save it Room to the War is because I need to process the videos, but I fixed the issue in, in Room to the War. I will be able to play it now and without needing to process videos as I moved over to the War 1942 and mod for Room to the War Barbarian Invasion to the Steam version of the game. I will do the same with Lord of the Rings to the War for the Alexander expansion. Uh, but now that Diablo 2 have no choice but to process videos, so I guess we will have to. I have to start the other computer and process it on that computer so we can play on this one while processing on the other. I don't, I don't want to wait on, on the video to process and do nothing while it is processing. Poisonous mummies from mummies zombies. I am overburdened. All right, you're overburdened. Let's use some potions. So really need to kill everyone here. I also want to do the Maggot Slayer in this episode. So we'll do both the, the, the Maggot Slayer, let's see here, the Radric Staff, Maggot Slayer under the Far Oasis, and the uh, Claw Viper Temple for the Headpiece. We'll do both of them and then Tainted Sun, destroy the Serpent Altar in the Claw Viper Temple beneath the Valley of Snakes. We need to do that too. We'll do that first. I can't anymore. We'll try to finish two quests. I am overburdened. Uh, can't pick up the item. Maybe we can throw out something. Uh, too much here. Ah, that sucked. We don't need the mace. So we have a sword currently. Probably not one hand, probably two handed. So we can't use a shield at the same time. If we use that, could raise May Skeleton. Oh, we only have one. To follow me around with the game. Okay. You can also poison enemies. And Daryl's main attacks are poison based. I can't carry anymore. Problem that we do not have any space. There we have a waypoint. I need to go and take it. I don't believe I have. Lost city. The far oasis. Good. And we have the palace, arcane sanctuary, and the canyon of the Magi.
Tunnels and kill everyone here. I don't even know all the attacks we get as an aerial. So I've never used an aerial with her skill tree before. Uh, so I don't know what we get. people here, dead guards, dead mercenary guards of Lutical Lane and the dead woman there. I believe in the remaster they censored a lot of stuff, which is bad. Should have made it as brutal as the original, but with 3D models. That's what everyone wanted at least. Not the censors. New, uh, better graphics, uh, in my opinion, doesn't mean censored um, I am overburdened stuff they don't need to censor it just because it looks better sharper and such most people prefer playing like that they kind of prefer this so in view go here Fire take a lot of damage. So if you stand there, you die. Okay, took them out. I can't carry any Need mana potions. They could pick up the other stuff. Okay, I needed to waste some mana potions there. Pick up the scroll of identity. Identify. Which we can use to identify items. <laughs> so we can pick up any items now because we have full inventory.
end and return. There are some powerful enemies there. Yeah. There were many. Destroy the urns. Keep an inventory to gain bonus. 16 maximum mana. Bronze ring. 10 attack uh, rate. We will not change our ring. Destroy that urn. Check this area. Monsters. Steel bag enemies here. Horror mages. Go back and pick up the coal. The healing potions. Killed our skeleton mage. Let's pick up the gold. I can't carry anymore. Healing potion. So I am overburdened. Potions. Okay, let's return. Let's get these runes too. on the other side the ancient tunnels I am overburdened I need a key. Will not take any chests that require keys. Just ignore it. We want all of the map visible.
this guys Socket item can be inserted into socket items. Okay. Well, we'll continue. Look around. No new area here. <coughs> okay, so it's difficult to find the area in the desert. Here, so oh. Yeah, there is so wide and o wide open. It's difficult to find. <coughs> Here we have an area. I think I found the temple. It's up there. Need to kill all the zombies outside first. Before entering. Valley of Snakes. Yeah, I think that's where we are supposed to go. So we go there. Kill the monsters here too. Here is where the temple is. I've already seen it. You see the opening there. It's a very small area outside. area was pretty much only the area with the temple. Clo to the Claw Viper Temple level 1. We will get the headpiece and, and we will also be able to destroy the serpent altar. Serpent altar. Let's go there. I hope I know what I'm doing. Ah, uh, yeah, these salamander monsters, lizards. Salamanders, yeah. Round, level 
Fine. Besides this one is it's the median excel mode with my sister and then I tried another mode too with her. It uh, changes the enemies to gain the real enemies like smurfs and wars, enemies and such. Gain battlefront strategy game like Age of Empires using sprites similar to Diablo 2. Okay, but I never did a video on, on those mods and I have a bunch have of other cool brilliant. mods too. One more at a time in order to play the media next mode. Uh, my sister won't miss it me because we are playing a cooperative campaign. Uh, but in this game, I'm playing single player. When I'm done with this, I will play another one. We'll try to finish it as soon as possible, but the problem is the processing of videos takes forever. So I rarely make videos. Let's kill them! Managed to click on tab. Didn't 
I shouldn't inter interrupt the video because I'm using the NVIDIA Shadow Play Recorder. Had it been Bandicam, it would have interrupted the video. Guardians in one hand. As soon as we get to them. Oh, I found the area where the item is. Tainted Sun Altar. Kill all the monsters first. Ah, this place was very small. I can't carry it. Arled staff. Some money. Open up this. Right, we did it. Let there be light. Car should be removed. 
Amulet of the Viper was found. Amulet of the Viper. Ten to life, ten to mana, poison resist, twenty-six percent. Let's use it instead of the rugged amulet of uh, craftsmanship. Quest log. Speak with the townsfolk in Lutko Lane. Hamlet of the Viper. We already have the cubes, we probably do not need the Search the Claw Viper Temple for the headpiece. Yeah, it's supposed to be here. amulet you bear is actually the headpiece of a Herodric staff. Yes, you have an uncanny knack for finding rare and valuable artifacts. Of course, you'll have to use a Herodric cube to combine the headpiece with the shaft. I've been speaking with Lord Jaren, and I sense that he is becoming more and more agitated by something. You should try to talk to him again. If he still won't take you into his confidence, seek to prove yourself a bit more. I gather that his respect for you is growing. Good day. Red cube. You have quite a treasure there in that Horodric cube. Yeah. Okay, so we need to go to the Far Oasis again and find the shaft under the maggot's lair. That's what we'll do now. So we also need that part done. We need to find Maggot's Lair. So I've been here, I don't want to end the game so that all the monsters will respawn before finding the lair and, and uh, taking care of the maggots. So we get the craft and we can finish the quest with the cube. Okay, the sun was completed, but we want to finish the Redrick Staff quest too. Should have been completed first. Here is the Maggot Lair, to the Maggot Lair level 1, we'll do that. I am 
some stuff. Alright, I need to kill everyone. As usual. Assassin, like pictures. Right, this place is pretty easy. One thing I like about the remaster is that they've added probably the ability to change your looks for the characters whenever you keep new gear. I like that. Okay. In this game most items won't change your gear, only the armor will, not the helmet. Yeah, I believe the helmet will, but not the uh, boots and gloves and such. I am overburdened. There, see, we haven't been there. So that's where we'll go into this area. It's locked. Locked chest. Right. I can't carry it.
shield. Craft again. A new skills too. Let's add that one then. The Iron Maiden. Level 21. Ah, we can curse enemies. There's only one way to go. So we go back to this area. Level to the Magdala level 2. I believe the boss is at level 3. That was a trap, poisonous trap. Healing I am potion. Overburdened. Identify. Okay. Two of them. Nothing in the chest. Okay. And uh, it seems that uh, our skeleton is dead. Let's summon a new one. Healing potion. Seems to be two chests in all areas. The dead guard here. Ah, could have taken 
that way too. Go back again. Level 3 will go there. The maggot player, level 3. There we have the guy and the maggot. else. Here. See if we have monsters here to kill. Uh, here it is, of course. Smaller. 
bug save too. Ah, cold worm, the burrower. Cold enchanted magic resistance, immutable. Cold. I never like bugs. I can't carry anymore. Alright, so we kill the giant maggot. Don't remember the boss being difficult. Staff of Kings. King, I put the staff of kings to handle damage, 10 to 16. Good. Use the rather cube to restore the staff. Okay. We're done here. Her Merkner has died. I didn't realize. Go and hire her immediately. Kyle. Yes, citizen. Resurrect Kyle, 2430, yes. We have 43,636 bonus. No problem. Oh, we had a... We had this, yeah. And, uh, yeah. We'll use the staff now. Impossible. Ah, uh, now I remember we need to move out stuff from the staff. Clicked wrongly there. Side and amulet. That sucks that you need to use the amulet. Seven maximum stamina, two dexterity. One maximum damage, ten maximum stamina. Okay. Let's use this. We created a radic staff to end. Yeah. Quest log. Take the staff to Talrasha's tomb. Okay, then we have Arkin Sanctuary, it's all to Drognan. We have the seven tombs, find some Russia's tomb. Okay, we'll speak to the good king. Excellent! You have a Herodric staff. Carry it with you into Tal Rasha's tomb. Find within the tomb the chamber whose floor is inset with the circle of seven symbols. Place the staff into the receptacle you find there. That will open the secret passage into Tal Rasha's burial chamber. But be prepared for a fight. You'll likely have to kill Tal Rasha to destroy Bale. Alright. Hello. Go and speak to Drognan now. I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. The great Vigerai summoner, Horizon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events too, such as the imprisonment of Bale within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horizon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horizon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. Okay. Dive into Talrasha's tomb. Look for the organ sanctuary within the palace. 
Phantom Rush's tomb, and then we have this quest here. Speak to Yerin. When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered by a merciless band of hell's spawned demons. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Demons have continued to pour through the rift into the palace. Ultimately, I hired Greys and his mercenaries to help protect the rest of my fair city. Drognan believes that the arcane sanctuary lies buried underneath this palace, since Lutgalane occupies the site of an ancient Vigerai fortress. My palace is open to you now. Take care. Alright. So we have uh, take the staff to Thalrasha's tomb. Find Thalrasha's tomb, they are connected, and then we have look for the arcane sanctuary within the palace. I believe this quest is connected to the arcane sanctuary. So what we need to do next is enter the palace. Stay out of trouble. Sure. So this is the next episode. So we finished this quest, Tainted Sun, in this episode, and we also did the rest of the Radric staff. Only the final part remains. Okay. We did the rest to create the staff. Okay. Uh, but I think this will. Um, I think we could probably play the palace part 2, it will be... I, I usually did episodes based on quest, one quest per episode. So did this quest now. This one was like men in one. So I guess this would count as this video's quest. This one did part of it Stay in the out of previous trouble. episode. Stay okay. Arcan Sanctuary. guess this could do for now and we'll continue with Arkin Sanctuary next time. Okay, thank you for watching, bye.